Well, the only suspect in the 1982 Tylenol murders has died. James Lewis was never charged in the deaths of seven Chicago area residents who took Tylenol lace with cyanide. But he served time for trying to extort the drug maker. WGN's Patrick Elwood has more on that case that caused worldwide panic. It was the fall of 1982 when six adults and one juvenile in the Chicago area were killed after taking extra strength Tylenol, the nation's number one leading pain relief over the counter medication at the time. Whoever was responsible was never caught. And with the death of 76 year old James Lewis, this case may never be solved. Ultimate takeaway is that this case will never be charged. Upon the 40th anniversary of those Tylenol murders, Tribune reporters Stacey St. Clair and Christy Gutowski took a deep dive into the decades old mystery. What they reported was that investigators on this case firmly believed that Lewis was the culprit who loved the cat and mouse game. He loved the challenge of, of being questioned by law enforcement. Of particular interest in that deep dive last year was that in 2007, the FBI had recorded an interview unbeknownst to Lewis at a Chicago hotel. In that interview, he revealed details of the case from back in 1982 at the time that had not been made public. It was essentially the smoking gun. So they're able to compare those timelines and basically catch him admitting to mailing that letter before the public even knew about the murders. What was his motive? According to the Tribune, Lewis had allegedly tampered with the Tylenol in an act of revenge against its maker, Johnson & Johnson, after his five-year-old daughter died after the subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson produced sutures used to fix her congenital heart defect that tore. In the first days after the killings, Lewis mailed Johnson & Johnson and demanded $1 million to stop the killings. He was convicted of extortion, but after that conviction, he offered two detectives to help find the real killer, he said, and drew up sketches like this one as examples of how such a plot could be carried out. We spoke to those experts um, ourselves, and they confirmed that, that yes, what, what he drew would be a very um, logical and you know safe way of getting cyanide from your home to the shelves in a grocery store. When the Tribune caught up with Lewis last year in Boston where he was living, he said, quote, have you been harassed over something for 40 years that you didn't have anything to do with, unquote? We know that within the last year, law enforcement has have gone to prosecutors in Cook and DuPage County and asked them to charge what they considered a chargeable circumstantial case. Um, I think the ultimate takeaway is that this case will never be charged. Yesterday, Boston officials were not going to do an autopsy on Lewis's death, but today at the insistence of Illinois investigators that it's changed. An autopsy is definitely going to be done to find the exact cause of death. Reporting from the newsroom, Patrick Elwood, WGN News.